Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I thought I would share with you a closer look at uh, the Haberdashery paper pack from the, pa uh, from the Paper Studio which I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I believe the Paper Studio is their brand. The reason this caught my eye is because I love craft paper and um, this is all printed on craft paper. So there's 20 designs, 3 sheets of each, 12 by 12 uh, regularly priced $19.99. I picked it up when it was 50% off on paper. So um, I got two stacks for the price of one and I'll share another one. It'll be a link below as well to the other craft pack, craft paper stack that I got. So um, it arrives, well, you pick it up at the store or if you order online with two giant swatches of tape. You just cut them apart and I cut them off entirely instead of tucking them under which I used to do because I use both the front and the back page eventually the front I use for like inches or wherever I need smaller images because they're scaled down of the full size images inside of the 12 by 12 paper and the back page is a lightweight uh, cardboard so I use that um, once I'm almost done with a stack uh, for things like punching out images like this little mason jar because I love the craft paper. So um, let's get started. So this is Specialty Glitter Gloss Foil Craft. It's acid free and the design is haberdashery so let's show you. So this one has foil, if you can see the light as the light hits it foil accents around um, some of the images. So three sheets, um, it's, and I'll show you the back of it, has a little bit of an impression. So um, this is just ever so slightly raised. So when you are where there's foil images like that, there's a little bit of an impression on the back, but it is single-sided, so you can use that. Um, this one has a nice kind of a muted red pattern. Some beautiful poppies with print in the background and uh, it's en français, it's in French, this French writing back here. And this is also lately foiled to the little bird right there and this whole image is a uh, nice faded page, faded out um, so you can use the center for your focal point design. Um, this one is just a flat page, so uh, and it, I love that the um, patterns are matte and not super shiny and just have those accents. This looks like it would be great for borders if you want to tear them apart or leave it as is, kind of a collaged page with, um, yeah, it's in French as well. Some advertising newspaper ads. There's another collage page, but this one has... Um, the epoxy and some of its accents are like right here and the others yep the, um, this one right here oh and some of this um, Parisian script oh, this one has um, glitter accents in both uh, upper and lower corners right there Covered postal, postcard information, again, French tax in the background. It's shabby without being pink and white, which I really like. Um, I always think of craft as kind of a utilitarian base, and I think maybe that's why it appeals to me so much. So this one has all of the chairs um, in that shiny epoxy, really cool background. Little settees, fainting couches, you know, accommodating all those ginormous skirts from the day. Um, and this one is um, La Mode, and the dress form is epoxy. And that's a little flourish, and some of the flowers. Really nicely designed paper, and just not. Um, well, this is really cool. So it's, it looks like a newspaper. French turn the last century and it's um it's actually not black it's chocolate chocolate brown like a really dark chocolate brown with um 
creamy or like Olay writing. Here's another glitter page, or glitter accented page, where the rose is one of the rose prints with a French text background. A nice little kind of flourishy neutral matte page. Oh, look at this. This is cool. It has um, glitter accent on the chair as well as on um, the cutlery or the pattern. Cafe Chocolat. This one is um, epoxied on the flowers and this one butterfly, not these two. Or maybe, yeah. I guess there's, this one has a little bit and that one does too as well. This is a really funky page. Uh, it's all epoxied. See that shimmer on it? Really cool. I could see using this background for like a journal cover. It's really cool. This one has some, it's flat. There's no um, glitter or epoxy in, but it has some of these uh, funky little swirls and doilies. Another collage page, patterns and newspaper prints. Here's the same newspaper print as the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the chocolate page, but it's um, with overlaid glitter swirls and embellishments and some roses. And a nice kind of a mosaic or like a parquet flooring. That's what it reminds me of. And it's flat. And last but not least is um, Eau Couture um, Perfume Paris. It has all different advertising on it. And the um, clock face is epoxied. So that is the haberdashery 60-page um, pack from the Paper Studios. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will pop this in the paper playlist um, if you want to check out any of the other paper stacks that I've shown page by page. Thanks for watching, everyone.